the two. Now, one of the big differences is on the comp, you have rock shock suspension, and on the expert, you have Fox suspension. <clears throat> From riding both bikes, and I'm, I weigh 200 pounds, so I find that the Fox suspension seems to hold up a lot better for me. Uh, I find the rock shock suspension to be a little softer, and I like off of big drops and jumps and things like that, I kind of blow through that suspension, where on the Fox I don't, but it seems like for miles it weighs 145 pounds, it looks like from my perspective that the suspension works very, very well for him. What do you think on the Rock Shock suspension compared to the Fox for uh, you? I think the Fox is better personally just because of how much pressure I have to run in these Rock Shocks. I'm almost maxed out. I'm like 40 pounds from maxed out in both in both areas, which probably should not be for my weight. But uh, like you said, it is very soft compared to other suspensions that I've run before. But you got a bunch of wiggle room with that uh, pressure in there. But over the other thing, they both come with the same tires. When I first got the bike, I, I was digging the specialized tires on it. It has a butcher and what, what's the back on these things? Uh, what's the back on these miles? The, it's a black diamond eliminator. Eliminator. The eliminator and the butcher. They're 2.6s on it. I, I liked it in the beginning as I got more used to the bike and my speed started getting higher. And then we got into the spring where the ground hardened up a little better. And when our speed started going up there the last ride I had on this I will say I I bit the dust what two times three times three times I fell and every single time it was my front end washing out uh, just coming into a turn and then just the front end would wash out on me so I am gonna change the tires I'm gonna go to Maxis and see how that goes and we'll do a review on that compared to these specialized um, tires they they were designed for these bikes from what I understand with you know, a harder sidewall and made for these bikes, but just something about our terrain. I, I definitely had some pretty big get offs because the front end was washing out on me. Now that could be, I was having a bad day and I just suck at riding, but I, it's very rare that I go down three times in one ride. I think uh, you definitely do want to run downhill tires on this bike, believe it or not, with that wire beat casing because it's definitely going to hold up a lot more in the tires and you're riding faster and harder. I mean, weight is definitely not going to matter on this thing because you're already at, what, 46, 47 pounds, something like that. So if you just add that two extra pounds, it's not going to make that big of a difference. So I would recommend running dual ply or like the Maxxis double down tires or their downhill casing wire beat tires because it would make a big difference and make your riding a lot more smoother, I personally think. Now, as far as the motors and the drivetrains. It seems like when we go out, a lot of times there's all kinds of crazy noises. Now my buddy who has his expert, he has this constant like squeal in his motor. I've heard, and, it's, and it comes and goes, it's a mystery sounds coming out of these things. Miles has had some crazy squeak coming. We've taken it back to the shop. They tightened, they said it could be from the cranks, from the pedals. They're, it's trying to identify where these noises come from and we still have them and sometimes it's there sometimes it's not and a couple of the rides it's been pretty annoying I will say when you're riding and you just got this it sounds almost like a belt is squeaking I, I don't know what's going on with it but that's another thing that kind of sucks with these bikes it like ruins your mojo when you're riding you're riding you just keep constantly hearing that squeak and it's just it annoys you and it's kind of worrying you in your head so you go slower and you stop and you look at it and then it just it... I did I did find that the brakes are very finicky on these like one ride they're fine the next ride they're they're squeaking and you got to readjust them I've had to readjust my calipers on the trail a couple times and I think just with the extra weight and the speed and it's you're doing downhill so I don't know how many of our audience does downhill, but as you know with a downhill bike, you're going over the whole bike after every session you're out on the thing because they just rattle, rattle apart. So it's the same concept with these. It's not like your enduro bike where you go do some cross country trails and you can just put it away, grab it, check that tire pressure and go back out again. After every ride, I find like you really gotta go over the bike because 
of all those forces that are happening with the bikes. So overall, I would say if you're on a budget that the fact that you're getting the 700 watt battery and the same motor on the comp and weight is not an issue with these things and the rock shock suspension is terrific and the brakes are terrific. I even think that the guide brakes are just as good or if not better than the code brakes. I, I don't see a difference. I really don't. And yeah, in I my opinion, it's not worth the money for the expert. The Comp is a great bike because already I want to change the handlebars. I want to change the rims. I want to change all the things you're going to change anyways if you're going to upgrade your bike. And you might as what you're buying when you buy these things, especially if you're a serious biker and you're going to be using them all the time and you're going to be out on the trail and riding two, three, four times a week. You're going to end up changing this stuff from tires to rims to handlebars. It's just the nature of the game. And the basic thing is you're starting out with the, the frame and the motor and the battery. So you're just, it's just better bang for the buck for the comp, and that's my opinion. What, what do you think on that? I think the comp is definitely a better bang for the buck. I actually like the way the aluminum frame feels compared to the carbon frame. I guess it's just personal preference, but... Uh, I think it's definitely, you save a lot more money, like he said, you're definitely going to change parts when the time comes, and it's just, you're saving money because you're going to be getting rid of semi-decent parts here and changing them to really good parts that you prefer, so, I, from, from riding both, I definitely think this one is a lot better, I, I guess I could say it's because I've ridden it more, but I think it is better than the carbon one and the one that cost $7,500 compared to the one that cost $5,700, but, you know, you can go either way you want, it's not our decisions, but if we have to give honest reviews, I think definitely the comp would be better. So that's our opinion on these bikes. They're great bikes, they do have problems, but I think any bike is going to have the same problems, because you're talking about things that specialize, as far as the drivetrain, that's not specialized. Now the rims and hubs are kind of a specialized thing, but the one thing that Specialized is going to do is that when you do bend it, break it, destroy it, they replace it. So who am I to bitch about that? I mean, it's just, it's a great deal. And that's the reason why we went to our local bike shop and we bought these bikes because of the service and the warranty and the fact that this, I believe that this technology is still new and we're going to see changes even advance way further than what these machines are. I, I held off. I rode an electric bike about three years ago, and I loved it, but I said, you know, they're just not there yet. And I waited for this model to come out when they came out with the 700 watt battery, and this motor with the mission control, it just blew me away, and I was like, all right, I'm gonna pull the trigger, I'm getting too old, I'm not gonna wait until I'm 60 years old to get an e-bike, and I bought it, and it's one of the greatest purchases I've ever made in my life. I would say, go out there, get an e-bike, try it, it's incredible and it's all about fun it really is and you're gonna enjoy it hands down we actually uh, almost pulled the trigger on YT e-bikes we almost actually did that because of the price of them coming from uh, online and coming from Germany probably wouldn't be the best idea compared to these but uh, I definitely would say I'm very satisfied with my purchase and like he said I wasn't going to wait to get it because the technology is here. It doesn't seem like it's going to advance any much further in the next couple of years so I would definitely go and demo one and think about it and really put your mind to it and possibly get one because it changes the world of riding completely. Alright, cut.